What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a buzz cut with yet another mid skin fade. So to start this haircut, whenever I have a buzz cut client, I always start with the top just because it's nicer to fade into a finished product. So here we're using the five all the way closed and we're making sure to hit everything on the top. Make sure to go in all different directions. You wanna make sure that guard actually picks every hair up and cuts it. If you go just one way, it might not pick it up and it could be pretty uneven. So once the top is buzzed down to our desired length, we are going back to our first step that we always do on every skin fade, and that is the clipper all the way closed, the zero all the way around the ear. Make sure to drop it a little bit in the back, continue it around to the other side and make sure it's nice and even. And like always, our next step is always the trimmer. We do not want to take this all the way up to that line because it can push it up. Here, I definitely did push it up too high. You're going to see later in the video, I did end up bringing the trimmer right back out to tap at that line because like I said in the last video, what puts in the line is what's going to take it out. So we had to bring back the trimmer, but that's totally fine. That's why we keep our line pretty low. So once our trimmer part is done, we are going to use the foil shaver. Just make sure not to push this line up too, too high because you will end up pushing the whole fade up higher. Just want to keep it right beneath the trimmer line that we used before. So now we're going to prepare the side for the skin fade part of the haircut and that's by using the one and a half guard all the way closed this is a very big section it's not necessarily a guide this is more just clearing bulk but i use it as a guide to keep that fade relatively within that space we don't want to go too too high because we don't want to go around the shape of the head and lighten anything up too much up top Once we have our one and a half guard closed all the way around, we have our section cleared off. We are going to do the next step, which is a little different than I usually do. And that is the half guard all the way closed and creating a little section to transition into the next step. There will be a line underneath it. And then that will be taken out without the guard on and with lever play. And like I was saying before, now that we have a little bit of a line here to blend that out, you just start no guard, open blade, and then keep dropping the blade closed more and more until that line comes out. So for our next step, we are going to bring out the half guard again, and then we're going to open it up halfway. We're going to push that line up that we put in before just a little bit more. And then once that's done all the way around, we're going to open it up all the way. And then by flicking out towards the end, we are going to blend it completely into the one and a half that we put in in the beginning. After we finished up with the half guard, we noticed there was a pretty substantial line right there. 
So we do want to make sure to get that out without bringing this whole fade up. And the way we do that is we know what is underneath the last guard we were just using. We were just using the half guard. So we take that off because the lowest guard underneath that is open blade. And that's what we're going to start with. And then you just slowly close it up until you figure out what gets that line out. And then we can move on. So now that we've faded everything out completely and we're all good and happy with the skin fade part, we do have to move up this one and a half a little bit just in case we pushed it up. Because like I said, we want to make sure that top line is always what we think it is. And in this case, the top line we put in was the one and a half guard close. So we do want to just hit that one more time. And in this case, we still have to blend a little bit under it. Since we couldn't get the half guard to fully blend into the one and a half, we are putting the one guard on and that's just gonna erase out that little bit of a line that we have right underneath that one and a half. So for our last step, we are going to use our thinning shears. It is my favorite tool, like I say in every video. And that's pretty much gonna be all you need to blend this fade from that one and a half into the top. You don't really need to go crazy with two, three, four to try and get it to that five that we put on top. As long as you don't go around the curve of the head and make it too light, you can pretty much blend this in perfectly right from a one and a half with some thinning shears. And this is the final result with no enhancements necessary. So if you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you left a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.